Ah uh, yes, the best way to start any episode. With aggressive T-posing, asserting my dominance over my own base. This happens a lot when I've just started the world. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever get over this. Oh, and it's over. And all my friends have spawned in. My workers. Well, hello everybody, and welcome to episode 17 of the Power World series. And, oh crap, my Incineram is wasted, I have to revive him. This could take a while. Ten minutes to go? Yeah. I feel like there was something else. Oh right, that's right, I fought a boss. This Petalia thing. I'd like to know exactly what it's good for. It's good at planting, which is, eh, alright. Handiwork, it has two crafting, just like the Incineram, which is awesome. Gathering, whatever. Medicine production, not needed right now, and transportation one. Also, it has an ability that will heal me if I use it. Hmm. Methinks temporarily that Batali is going to be a replacement for the Incineram. Temporarily. Sort the pound deck out. Now, what do we need for an upgrade? Sphere assembly line, power generator. Power generator. Hmm. And what are we missing for that? We need one level to craft the sphere assembly line. And I think we have the hundred ingots required to craft it. Well, they're on the way at least. Hmm. All right. Well, I was thinking in today's episode, we might attempt to fight the boss inside the tower. That nearest tower. Where is it? Hold on. This one. I said I would try it around level 25, I believe. And, well, we're around level 25. At least I am. My pals, well, they're close. Close enough. Now I have got to repair this at least. Screw it, we'll repair a little bit of everything. Actually, you know what? Let's see if there's a better spear, or even better, is there a crossbow? Some kind of upgraded ranged weapon? That would be nice. Where, oh where, could my ranged weapons be? Wooden defensive wall, I think I need that, potentially, for other bases. But that's not what I'm looking for. Crossbow. Oh, here we are, crossbow. What does it take? Ingots and nails. That means repairing it will probably take ingots as well. That's not a good thing. Let's see if there's anything else. The next best thing would be a musket. Which, I don't think we're quite ready to make use of that yet. It requires high quality pal oil, and I am assuming that comes from high level pals. And gunpowder to make the bullets. So, looks like our goal is to make a crossbow. Temporarily. Right over here. Hmm. Uh, you know what, let's make this mega shield. Should give me more survivability. So we'll do that. Where's my Petalia thing? You're good at crafting, do your thing. What in the? Oh, I forgot I even had a Robin Quill. Good, he's crafting. And this is a weapons workbench, which means I should... Crossbow, I need ingots and nails. I can get that done. Just craft nails over here. Oh, maybe not. I have to collect the ingots. One of the best parts about these games is that there's always something to do. Even if it's slightly tedious things, there's always something. Let's see, this chest is for eggs and other non-stackables. Don't need it. You know what, I'll put these rare flowers that I got from catching the Petalia for beautiful flowers, whatever. In here as well. Anything unusual or uncommon can go in there. Grab these gigaspheres as well. All right, the shield is done. Now what's missing? We need to craft a handful of nails. Five crafts, put the Petalia on that, because she's way faster than me. And then once that's done, we'll get the crossbow going. Hey, aren't you <laughs> the best when it comes to crafting the ore? I believe you have two in igniting. So you should be the one over here on the ore. While the flambell does something else. Hmm, have we? No, we need more. We should at some point spend a night flying around looking for those lift monk effigies in an attempt to... Oh wow, I'm starving. Hold on. Oh me, oh my. If I don't eat something, I'm going to die. There we go. But I think it would be a good idea to spend some of the upcoming nights going looking around for those lift monk effigies to increase our catching rate. Anything to reduce the amount of spheres I have to go through to catch some of these harder creatures. In the previous episode, we got lucky with the Petalia boss and caught it almost instantly. I think it only took one sphere. Alright, time to craft the crossbow. Oh, this is slow. Alright, put the Petalia on it. <laughs> she just does everything way better than me. Let's go ahead and put these nails in a chest. I don't need anything extra filling my inventory. Like this. While we're at it, we'll equip the shield. Let's see, it says I have 100 shield health here. And this thing has 260. Why not 250? But that means it's 2.6 times greater than this one. So this can be discarded. Goodbye. You've served me well. It is nice having multiple different pals that are good at crafting around the base. Things keep moving properly in order. You know what? 
We should pay a visit to that other base and collect up as much of the wool as possible. Set cloth to be crafted. It's not a bad idea. Doesn't hurt to have more pal spheres as well. I forgot how fast this wolf is. This thing practically drifts. Let's see. One collect, one run of it. At least on the bottom floor, we've gotten about 50 wool. Not bad. Not even gonna bother counting the spheres because we get so many of them. At this point, I have 600 just about. I'm going to after I'm done collecting these. Man, what a sound it makes. <laughs> Picking up individual items like this gets a little messy. And there's the last one. Yep, we broke the 600 mark with the pound spheres. We should probably put some of them away. Sure, let's do that. Just put some in this chest. Set some, not all of them. We'll keep half of them with us. And now let's head back and start crafting some cloth. I'm sure we're going to want a lot. We needed some for those high quality pal beds. Or the fluffy beds. Whatever. Oh, that reminds me. Have I, in any which way, gotten seeds? Wheat seeds. No, I have not. Oh well. I was hoping I could set up another, uh, plantation, but I guess not. Let's get the battalion over there and start crafting the cloth here. As far as I know, wool doesn't serve any other purpose, so cloth it is. Alright. Crossbow done. <laughs> now we got the battalion on that. Damn, this thing goes fast. Although if you look at the animation, it's essentially just slapping the table repeatedly. That too is how I craft. Now that we have the crossbow, hmm. We'll put the three-shot bow in a chest here, just in case we end up wanting to use it. Ooh, nope, hold on. <laughs> there might be points where we have to catch weaker creatures and we don't want the crossbow. We'll have to see how much damage it does. Can't shoot my own pals to find that out, can I? Let's try. Fire? Nope, doesn't work. Actually reminds me, I only have 84 arrows. I wasted them all on, well, this thing, the Batalia. So it's not a bad idea to craft some more. We craft three at a time, it only takes one wood and one stone, so screw it. I'll set up a hundred crafts. Sure won't take too long for the Batalia to get that done, that'll produce 300 arrows. The cloth can be taken care of the others, so Batalia, get on that. There you go. Wonderfully done. See, we've got the Robin Quill already going to work. I should probably go get more of those Robin Quills too. Unless I can find something else. They really are just an improved version of the monkey, and I still have two monkeys active at the base. Which is not the best. Suppose we should pick up the ore. Ooh, the Tombats have completely cleared it out. Which means we probably have a lot to craft. Or smelt. Whatever. <laughs> Love the sound of picking up a multitude of items at once. Okay, we're gonna cancel this and then set all of the ingots to be crafted. There we go. Let's see. I might have to start making different chests. I need more of them. Because we're getting a lot of unusual items. I'm getting valuables like gems and things of that sort. So we'll put a chest here and another one here. Just surround the stairs in them. Oh man. It's pretty nice when the entire crew comes over to start crafting something. They built that chest in no time at all. Although they're ignoring this one because I'm crafting it. I see how it is. Well, these things are just worth money. The precious pelt, which I seem to be getting from any boss or anything that's in a dungeon. At the end of those, we should do more of those as well. Precious entrails, also just seemingly worth money, and rubies, also just money. I also have schematics here. Interesting. What kind of armor am I wearing? Pelt. This, I assume, was just leather, so there's probably something better. Probably. Mm. Let's go ahead and take a peek. I'm sure there's some kind of better armor. Can I make metal armor yet? That would be nice. And here we have the glider. Metal armor. It is doable. It takes 30 ingots. It's probably pretty strong, though. I wouldn't doubt it. Metal helmet? Mm. Heat-resistant metal armor. I'm assuming these are better since they're further down, so screw it. We'll try to craft that. There's no other helms, so we'll just do the metal one. Now, where do we craft those? Over here. Heat-resistant metal armor. Let's try it out. Right here. I guess I'm gonna have to craft it myself since the battalion is a little busy. Oh man, this is slow as hell. Never mind. Patalia, <laughs> definitely work on the armor first. This is super slow. Good god. You know what? It seems like maximum efficiency, or the Route 2 maximum efficiency, would involve me never sitting here and crafting these things myself, because, well, the pals can do it while I'm gone. That's probably the best route to take with this. So, we have... 250 crossbow bolts. Let's go ahead and try that boss out with our new Patalia. Boss versus boss. Oh, I wonder how it'll go. Let's hope not too terribly. Is there anything around that I can shoot? 
Premise. I'm gonna fire this at you. 650 damage. Yeesh. That was a lot. Almost killed the thing in one shot. Was it a headshot though? No, but that's a headshot. 50% more. Hit like a truck. Not bad at all. I can probably do this from the back of mounts. Oh, it reloads relatively quickly. For a crossbow at least. Ouch. Oop. I meant to throw a sphere, not my battalia. Catch this thing. I don't have too many of them. Yeah, 70%, we got it. <laughs> These guys seem to have some kind of reaction when you aim at them, like they try to move away from your crosshair. At least sometimes, not all the time. Hmm. You know what? Let's just have the Patalia kill everything. I figured I'd come over here and take a peek at this cage. What's inside of it? What is this thing? Is that a Gumas? No, something else. Just looks like a ball of hair, essentially. A swee. Okay, works for me. We are gonna try this boss out. If we're lucky, it won't take an eternity like the last one did. I accidentally extended the episode a bit because I was a little busy trying not to die. I wonder what this is gonna be like. Time to go in. Hold F. Alright, I'm bored. Cutscene. <laughs> Alright, I can do some damage to this thing. That's good. Let's go ahead and get my pals out. 30,000 health. It's definitely stronger than the Battalia was. Definitely stronger. Okay, that's an interesting move. Just kind of jumps around. I just have to be careful not to let myself get murked. Seems like the crit spot is not actually the head of the large electric creature. It's instead the girl on the back. <laughs> Drew the battalion in right before it could shoot that little laser. Ouch. Yeah, this is definitely going to be doable. Very doable. They're not doing that much damage to the battalion or me. Interesting. Does it have a level somewhere that I can, I don't know, determine its difficulty with? Like to know what I'm fighting. Seems like 25 was an appropriate level for this because, well, like I said, the battalion is just untouched. Look at how much she's just tanking these. Oh, almost got hit by that. Damn, that's not fair. <laughs> she's got more than three moves. I can only use three when I'm riding my teams. The Battalia really is just face-tanking this. Nice. Well, looks like it was a good idea to bring the crossbows, because I think I'm doing more damage than the pal I have out is. Ooh, yikes. You know what? That didn't even bust my shield. It's a good idea to upgrade. Very good idea. Just gonna keep going for point-blank body shots. Keep the damage consistent. If I look under the health bar, actually, I can see that there's a timer. They want me to take out the boss in a certain amount of time. Ouch, again. Come on, Patelia, we're in the middle of a fight. Don't go saying you're hungry. <laughs> Just keep attacking. There you go. A Gantley thing was a problem when I was uh, the one dealing with it, but it seems pretty good when it's on my side. Yeah, this is really simple. I could have done this like five or so levels ago. What is that? What is that laser? Get that thing away from me. Okay, I didn't know the timing for it, but that worked for me. Somehow I managed to actually avoid it. I guess I just have enough experience in Dark Souls to recognize these kind of animations. Except for that one. I didn't think that she would go that far. That last lunge was a little extended compared to the others. And I'm assuming that laser, yep, can't go through the pillars. That's good. At least the devs have an idea of how to handle these kind of situations. Do not let the bosses attack through the environment. Nobody likes that. I've almost won already. <laughs> this has been pretty simple. I really should have done this a while ago. Nope, nope, and nope. Alright. They finally got Patalia down to half health. Amazing. One thing I do like is that I can seemingly maintain my full move speed while reloading the crossbow. Oh, Patalia is literally at like 1 HP. Let's relax with that. You know, let's send out the bird. Go, bird. I think I can just face tank most of these attacks, actually. Yeah, and I'm still just wearing the pelt armor I never upgraded. So, definitely could have done this a while ago. And... Boss eliminated. Now what kind of goodies... Oh, wow. <laughs> the chick is literally just dead. Ragdolled on the floor. Alright, just a little bit of casual murder. Um, and we are... Seemingly... On top of the tower, I think? Let me get on my bird.
We look on the map. Yeah, we're actually just on top of the tower. Very interesting. I guess we could spend the rest of the night going toward those green dots, because we wanted lift monk effigies. Gonna get as many as we can before the sun comes up. Might as well. It's the best time to do it, because they're basically just advertised during the night. Nice and bright. Accidental bar. But that's my base. What's up with... Oh, right, right. The Tombats are attacking the ore at my base, like they're supposed to. I just got a little confused, because I forgot that that actually makes damage numbers appear. Now, where was that effigy? There was one up around here, I think. There it is. Over there on that rock. I'm gonna get you. Anything to increase the odds of... Should I attack this? I think I already have ten cremises, so there's really no need to do that. Just some casual murder. Unnecessary murder. And here's our first effigy. Seems like the sun is already starting to come up. Well, it's the price that's paid. I spent too much time messing around in the previous episode. We'll take a peek at the penguin boss. This ever jail. And see if it's respawned. If so, we might just capture him. Never hurts to have more pen kings. Those things seem to be a little good at everything. Two mining, two crafting, two of everything basically. And no. It's gonna be another episode or two before I can mess with that. Which, hey, that's fine. We did achieve something. That fight, apart from getting a bunch of copper keys apparently, gave me a bunch of ancient technology points. These things on this right side. Which we're definitely gonna have to mess with soon. Very soon. But this has been episode 17 of the Power World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.